All right, guys, welcome back. And as you can see here, we have this DG Clown Clutch that I'm pretty pumped about. Now, again, as is the way with this season so far, for the most part, I have a sausage fest to the extreme with this clutch. Um, I'm going to double check uh, the genders of all these snakes, but I'm pretty sure I hit a 5.1, which is five males and one female, which absolutely blows. I mean, it really could only get one snake worse in terms of a gender disparity. There should be three and three. There should be 50% in every clutch. We know that doesn't happen, but five to one is horrendous. Now, at least the one female was a, was a clown. I don't think she's DG, judging by this, the look of these snakes. Um, but this clutch, I really didn't have good odds of hitting DG clowns anyways. Because the pairing was a red stripe leopard yellow belly, triple hat uh, DG clown pied male, bred to an orange dream vanilla clown het DG female. So... Roughly half the snakes should have been clown, and I did hit that 50% odds. But um, half the snakes technically should have been uh, posset pied, so not really good odds at hitting pied at all in this clutch. And roughly, I believe, one out of eight should have been desert ghost uh, because it was a het to a het pairing. So... Um, or 25% should have been Desert Ghost. I, I can't do my math right with these when I'm doing hats to hats um, in my head. But we hit three clowns. I believe I hit at least two DGs that I can see. Uh, I'm going to shed test the three clowns just to see everything I need to test for Pied regardless. And, you know, whether it's a clown hat DG or clown double hat or DG clown hat or just DG clown makes a big difference down the road in terms of what I'm pairing it up to. Um, but these look awesome. So... Regardless of the fact, and I, now I need a DG clown male. I do not have any. The two males I have are double hets. So the one male that looks really cool in here looks like he's a DG clown. Actually, I think the two DG, DG clowns that I believe are DG clowns are both males. Hopefully one of them's had pied because hitting a DG clown had pied is huge for that project rather than only having a triple hat. So without further ado, let's go here from worst to best. This is the most plain snake we have in here. Uh, I think it's a normal, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else in there. I haven't really tried really hard to ID it. So what we have is a 100% hit clown, 66% DG, 50% pied. So 166, 50. What a just random snake, um, male. I can't imagine, I'm probably just going to end up putting it up for auction, I, unless somebody else wants to just say, hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Um, not a really high-end snake. Here's a kind of a cool one. Again, another male. Um, this is some sort of a leopard combo. Maybe I'll say leopard, maybe yellow belly, a leopard vanilla. Um, nothing, again, too crazy going on in that snake. This one's really cool. Uh, this looks actually looks like the male that I produced last year from an ultra pied project. Um, and obviously it has a really cool ringer here. Let's get him out here a little bit. Really pretty eyes. Um, come here, buddy. Come here. Get out here in the sunlight a little more. That made it worse. Let's see. Come on. Get in there. So there's a cool, it's almost kind of like a paradox because that, color right there that orange is a lot brighter than the rest of the snake um but he's really cool he's really pretty I, i'm assuming this is an an od vanilla leo combo by the looks of it definitely looks like it's going to be het pied so i'm assuming it's going to be a clown het pied uh you know plus het dg but he's a really cool looking snake uh probably will not keep him because i can't really justify keeping any of these non-visual clowns when i believe both of the males that i hit here are DG clowns, uh, which is outstanding in terms of odds. And not only do I believe they're both DG clowns, at the very worst, this one on the left is a DG clown. Um, at the best, they both are, uh, but they're both really cool looking and they both have quite a few genes in them. And so we're working with red stripe, yellow belly, 
Leopard, OD, and Vanilla here. Uh, so we're working with five codoms, and I believe the one on the left here, which is the one I believe is definitely a DG clown. It's going to be hard to tell because these are pre-shed, um, and they're very shiny, and their colors aren't really in well yet. So I'm not going to get a great ID on these until after they're shed through, but uh, they look amazing. I, I'm... I, I never thought in a million years that I'd have even a chance of hitting a DG clown on, in this clutch. Um, but I think I may have hit two here, and they look astounding. They're beautiful snakes. They're beautiful males. I, I might even, if there's a possibility, keep one or, or both, if they both end up being DG clowns that have pet pied in them. You know, again, having the backups for the future, they definitely have some different genes in them. My, what I'm probably going to end up doing here is just getting a full panel test from RGI. Um, I typically use Gray Rider or shedtesting.com for most of my shed testing, but he doesn't unfortunately have all the tests that RGI has. RGI has Leopard, OD, and Red Stripe right now, and I don't believe Charlie does. So uh, basically, I throw a full panel test in for these snakes. I'm probably even the female too up there for all three of these snakes, and I will know exactly what's in the snake because every gene, all five codoms and all three recessives that are there are in these snakes in the shed in the uh, full panel tests. So I won't have any question marks. I'll know exactly what these snakes are. It's 120 bucks a snake, but with the sort of firepower I'm working with here and the fact that I'm going to have to test them for pie regardless, it's just worth doing it. So there's no question marks. I know exactly what I'm breeding in the future what I'm holding back, uh, which recessives are there, and which ones aren't. Uh, but this is, that's a freaking killer, killer looking snake. Um, especially if it ends up being a triple recessive snake. So, man, this, this, uh, I've been hitting so many like high end snakes in the last few clutches that are going to be holdbacks um, that it really just makes my projects take giant leaps forward from this season. I can't wait for the end of the year when I'm able to do like a year in review and show all of the holdbacks that I've created, that I've kept. Because they're, I mean, I, I think January was so long ago <laughs> that like I can't even really remember. Um, back, I think Black Exanthic stuff was my first couple clutches I had, but it was so long ago. I think I had my first clutches in January or February that I can't remember back that far. But I'm going to go back through these snakes and be like, holy crap, this is everything I kept this year. Um, I can't believe it. But, I mean, these guys are just... Actually, let me zoom in rather than moving the camera closer. I mean, look at that. Look how awesome that snake is. And he's even better. Look at that. Ooh <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that guy. He's just so cool looking. I'm so happy with that. And then, here's the female, which is... She's, all, she's definitely staying here. Um, again, I'll shed test her just to verify everything that's in her. I think it's an OD, uh, uh, ODYB Leo clown. I don't think she's DG, um, judging by the way she looks. But again, I, even if she is, I need to test for it because I need to test to see whether or not she's 100% het or not and plus pied. So again, there's, there's no point in me not doing full panels on these ones I'm keeping or potentially keeping because I need to know what the genetics are. And let's say if this guy doesn't prove out to be DG, I still need to know if he's het DG because if this guy's a clown double het versus a clown single het versus just a clown, it's going to drastically affect the price on him when I go to sell him. And same thing with this guy. Um, you know, obviously going to be extremely more valuable to me if he's a double visual het versus a double visual. Um, so the shed tests for these three are definitely coming which is why I have them all separated here. Um, and I actually have another uh, DG clown clutch coming, I believe, next week. And it will be guaranteed DG and clown genetics because it's the same male, the triple head male, bred to a pastel NG DG clown. So at the very least, I know that there's 100% head DG clowns, but I still need to test for head pied in those because half the babies should technically be Pet pied and half of them shouldn't be. So now that's only a four egg clutch, so it's a little smaller, but 
dang. I mean, this is really more than I could have hoped for. Even uh, just hitting these three cool looking clowns. Um, you know, at the very worst, I hope she ends up being clown head pied because uh, she's going to make some cool looking snakes. But I think she's going to be a little more than that. And these two males, this guy here, ooh, I think they both have red stripe, judging by how they look, which is really, really exciting. Um, but this guy's so cool looking. He's so clean looking. Come here, buddy. Let's come out here and take a look. This head pattern is really cool. Oh, he's going to be feisty. Really wish I had some more females. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Look how cool that is. Got a cute little mustache there. I mean, that's just a sweet, sweet looking snake. I think one of these guys had, he's got some kind of tracks there. I don't know if those are going to be pied markers or not. Maybe I'll get lucky and just hit like a crazy looking snake here. That has a bunch of jeans in them. But these are the type that, these are, I'm going to keep going back to the video I made last week or a couple weeks ago saying that you need to kind of give yourself the ability to hit the home runs with your clutches, with your pairings. Um, and this is it. I mean, I, these, I didn't have super high odds of hitting anything fantastic here. And here's the other male. Um, let me know if you guys think this guy's DG or not. I'm pretty sure the other one is. I think this guy is too. Um, you got to give yourself the ability to hit home runs with these clutches and have a, have a decent floor. Um, hold on, focus camera. Here we go. Uh, and these this guys these guys prove that I mean they're just phenomenal a a plus animals and when you're breeding two snakes together that can make double recessives and two snakes together that have the ability to produce kind of triple recessives, um, you know my floor here was terrible. I mean this snake I don't know I didn't look at pricing maybe it's worth a hundred bucks if if that but it's probably going to be an auction animal either way. Um, but these guys, I mean, the variety here is pretty extreme. And even these two snakes, not being visuals at all, I don't believe either one of them is a DG by the looks of them. Um, they're still pretty cool snakes, and there's still a lot of potential there with genetics. But just hitting these three, even if they're just clowns, uh, look phenomenal in their higher-end animals. But I, you know, also had the potential to hit some double visuals in Hitting any sort of a double visual clown combo, uh, DG clown combo that can give you also five recess or uh, five codoms potential is huge. And you know, as you can see from some of my other clutches and like those clown pides that I showed you guys earlier in the week, you never know what you're going to hit, but you got to give yourself some decent odds to hit them or a bit just the ability to hit them. If you're just breeding a clown head pied to a, a clown pied, the only thing you can make is a clown pied or a clown head pied. Like, there's, there's no variety there. You need to have the codoms in there. So when my confusion combo doublehead DG clown male wasn't breeding for me at the start of the year, and I chose to get the sire to this clutch, who was already a proven breeder, um, red stripe leopard yellow belly triple het DG clown pied, I was like, well, I need somebody that's proven, that's working. It, my odds aren't any better with these clutches, with these females, but I have two or three DG clown females that are ready, plus the, the female that uh, was the dam to this clutch. Um, I need somebody to breed them now. And I was like, well, I have red, red stripe and leopard and yellow belly in that male. Those are three huge codoms in the clown um, recessive family. So I might as well try to get them in there. Um, and I did. And it, it, this is why you do that. You try to shoot for that stuff. So this clutch just... Made me happy a little bit again. I, I keep getting these smaller clutches, but I'm hitting decent, pretty decent odds in them in terms of genetics. Um, I'm okay with, you know, the slight sausage fest in here because I needed a DG clown male more than I needed a DG clown female. So I'm hoping I hit that here um, because he will be my future breeder for the project. And I can only hope that I hit the uh, het pied too because it'll be like my lightning pied lightning clown pied project where I really needed the male to be a double visual uh, lightning pied het clown rather than the male that I've been using which is a pied double het it makes hitting that triple so much easier 
And if my goal here is hitting DG Clown Pies or even something different, having this guy works it in to these projects a lot better. I could take this, if this guy's a DG Clown Head Pied with a few codoms, I could take him to one of my female, um, let's say Pied Double Head, or let's just say my Lightning Pied Head Clown female, right? I can make Clown Pieds with a few genes in them that are double het MJDG. So it's a double visual, double het with a few codoms. Nobody's doing that. I don't see them. I don't see them floating around anywhere. So those are the sorts of kind of kind of things you need to do. Take those shots. Um, so having a male like this, if he ends up being a triple recessive snake, makes everything fly. It makes this whole project fly. So it's gonna be a long way for these shed tests. I don't actually, I contacted RGI to ask them, um, but for some reason, like the, the full panel test estimated wait time on Morph Market for RGI was like three to five weeks or something, which I was like, holy crap, it's a long wait. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, these guys really won't be ready until then to sell, um, but it's gonna be a long wait. I'm gonna be, be impatiently waiting for that. But luckily, uh, this clutch looks awesome. I'm really happy about it. And we have more next week. So I basically have, I only, right now I only have three clutches left in there and they're all not very big. Let's see, I have four, five, and five. So I only have 14 eggs left, but they're basically hatching every 10 week, every 10 days. So this one's out now. The other one should be hatching at the beginning of next week, which is the other DG clown clutch, uh, Poss Head Pieds. Uh, it was double double visual DG clown though, and then what else is in here? Um, oh, my DG pied clutch and a clown pied clutch. So all double recessive clutches that are left in there: clown pied, DG pied, and DG clown. So a little bit of everything, as you can see, the pattern there. They're all double recessive potential. Uh, they all work together. They're all DG and Clown or DG Pied or DG and Clown. So they all have DG because I'm trying to get more of that in here. So just trying to make a lot of more really cool snakes for myself to keep and work in um, as many double visual recessives as I can. So I'm going to get these guys put away. Uh, hopefully they have nice clean sheds that I can, um, you know, get here in a couple days, dry them out and get them shipped out next week so that they can start working on my panel tests. Uh, until then, no, I'm not gonna test these three. No, there's really no point in me testing them. Um, I'm gonna spend 360 bucks between those three to get them test tested because unless she is only a, a visual clown, like she's just a visual clown, I'm probably gonna end up selling her if she doesn't have any other hats in her. Um, but if she's a het pied, or a double hat or a hat uh, DG, I will keep her. Um, but these three I'm not gonna keep, so I'm just gonna have to kind of take what people are willing to pay for them. But they're still cool snakes and they still have a lot of potential in them, especially this one that has a nice ringer on it. But we'll see on these three. I'm very, very interested to see. Hopefully, if these are both DG clowns, I have 50% odds of them being hat pied. So, ee, fingers crossed everybody, fingers crossed.